Nice. All right, for point charges, let's take this to the to the next level. For point charges, what we've said so far is that electric potential is equal to electrical potential energy over the the charge of the the charge that ha finds itself near the source of an electric field. Yes, sir. Yes. That's the entire point. Joules yeah. per coulomb. <laughs> no, no, I know. I, I voltage. Yeah. And Yes, V is the sign for volts. So it's the sign and the symbol. It's one of those rare good things like that. Yeah. So volts, named after Mr. Volta. Okay, so electric potential, some people like to use the word voltage just to not get electric potential and electric potential energy mixed up. Some people like to say electric potential difference. But. All right, so if this, if this is true, it must also be true that we could rearrange it to get electric potential energy by itself, which is equal to the electric potential times the charge that's present. And so if I wanted to talk about doing work, I could talk about doing work in terms of a change in electric potential energy once again, but I could talk about an a change in electric potential energy in terms of electric potential. So a, a change in electric potential energy would be equal to change in electric potential times the charge that's present, which could be expressed as V2 times Q minus V1 times Q, or we could just say K, well, if it's due to a point charge, if this test charge, I should call it T for test. Or maybe I could write out the whole word test. <clears throat> then I could say it's K times Q P for point over R2 minus K times Q point over R1 all times Q test. Yeah. So if I want to find out the electric the electric potential energy change, or the amount of work done to move an object from one point to another point near another charged point, I could talk about the change in electric potential times the, the charge of the object that's being moved. Might be an electron, might be a proton, might be, could be a rubber balloon, I don't know. But anything that has a charge, okay? You want to do a, a practice problem? Okay. Let's try it. All right, so we've got this test or this point charge. This point charge has a charge of 6.4 times 10 to the power of 6 coulombs or 6.4 micro coulombs. So get used to seeing the, the prefix micro. Micro is 10 to the power of negative 6, but we'll just write it in scientific notation this time. And now I want to find the electric potential at this point. I'm going to call it point P. And I'm going to tell you that point P is 0 0.40 meters away from the point charge. So really simply, let's just find the electric potential. At point P. So there's a charge right here. There's nothing sitting at point P. We just want to talk about what the electric potential property is at point P. OK. So we've got R equals 0 0.40. Oh, this is very Christmassy. 0 0.40 meters, 40 centimeters. We've got a K equal to, let's use uh, 
Let's use again. It's red and green. Oh, oh, it's oh, sorry, my, yeah, my, maybe my contrast makes it look black. Nine times ten to the power of nine. It looks all black. All right. All right. Whatever color you see, let's fi let's finish the problem. <laughs> okay. Sorry, it was meant to be red and green. So KQ over R. <clears throat> I'm going to need a little bit of help with the calculation. <coughs> Remember, we're using it always in meters. So even if you get it in centimeters, you're going to have to convert. But I gave it to you in meters this time. Okay, I get 1.5 times 10 to the 5. Yeah, oh, one, is it 1.44? Okay. Did you use 9? Yeah. Okay. 1.44 times 10 to the 5. Okay, my head math isn't what it used to be. 1.44 times 10 to the power of 5. What are the units? Oh, we could use volts. Why not? Could say joules per coulomb, but it's same as volts. Where else could I move it? Or where else could I choose that would also have that electric potential? Yeah, anywhere that's going to be the same distance away from the church. An equipotential surface. So I could be up here above the page as long as I'm the same distance away. Yeah? Yeah. CC. All right. So let's try another example. All right, so here's the example. Another example. I've got a, shh, I got a three times 10 to the power of seven Coulomb charge. Oh, sorry, not positive seven. I want this to be negative seven. Positive seven, that's a big charge. Three times 10 to the power of negative seven Coulombs. And I want to move it across an electric potential difference of 120 volts. Now, if I say that I want to move it across an electric potential difference, all I'm saying is that at one point in space, it might have a certain electric potential. At another point in space, it might have another electric potential. But the difference between those two electric potentials, maybe it's due to a point charge, maybe it's due to some line of charges, who cares? The, dis the difference between the two electric potentials is 120 volts. So if I move a charge from this point to this point, it will have gone from an equipotential plane to another equipotential plane that was 120 volts difference. So I could say that delta V is equal to 120 volts. And I can say that the charge that I'm actually moving here is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. Now what I said once before was that well, I said once before that V was equal to electric potential energy over the amount of charge that is present. And then we sort of extrapolated from that that E would have to be equal to V times Q. And then we extrapolated from that that a change in E would be equal to a change in V times Q. Okay. 
okay? And what we've been given is the electric potential difference. Can you guess why I used 120 volts? Anybody happen to know their trivia about that sort of thing? Oh, because that's the maximum for voltage. Yeah, household light socket or a, or a wall socket. Okay, we usually go around 110 volts, but I'll choose 120 volts, okay? That's a fairly common household voltage. Okay. Yeah, it's different in other countries in the world. So in North America. Yeah. All right, so if I want to talk about the amount of work, we know that work is the same as saying change in electric potential energy or change in energy period, which is going to be delta V times, oh, capital V, times Q. In this case, that's just 120 volts, which is joules per coulomb, times... 3.0 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. And since volts is really joules per coulomb, if I do a joules per coulomb times a coulomb, the coulombs will cancel out, and I'll be left with joules in the end. What's 120 times 3 times 10 to the power of negative 7? Yep. Negative 5. And like we say, the coulombs will cancel out, and you're just left with joules. So that many joules, 36 microjoules. Can you just move your cheek just a little bit? Because 